say I find a platform that's working for me. Can you give yeah. me some quick tips on how I can get my fans to engage? Is there anything I can be doing, whether online or offline, to get more engagement from my fans? Yeah. Um, uh, real quick to answer that last question. SoundCloud is not completely irrelevant, but it's it's far down the, 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 the totem pole in terms of benefit for most people. Thank you for um, but, remembering that. I, 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 I definitely, I wanted to know the answer to that myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, they're trying though. They're trying, you know, they'll, they'll probably be in a different version of themselves at some point that's that's useful, just not the, the what we knew them for at one point in time. But um, the next question in terms of engagement. So one, understand you and what you care about to talk about. Because one thing that, I know I understood it early on, but I just it valid is validated all the time, right? Is what you put out there is the, the energy that you're gonna get, get put out, right? So if you want to talk about marketing, right? You talk about marketing a lot, people gonna want to talk to you about marketing, right? So you are as an artist or whatever type of brand, you start to be family friendly or have your kids and stuff or talk about dogs or go to the club. Like people are gonna relate to you for those things that you decide to put out there. So find where do you wanna connect and then put those things out there. Um, and obviously hopefully is organic for you where you don't get tired of it um, shortly. Cause then it becomes a headache. Like the, it becomes a headache if you start to do well at it. You don't see it at first, but you just trying to get some attention and do well. But once you do well and it's not the thing that you want, it will become a headache. Um, so just start there theoretically because you don't know what the platform like someone might be on in general. Um, and then other than that, I would just have as many like in conversations with fans or followers that have substance as possible. Because what you learn from those is how people see you in ways that you can't, like you can have your strategy. I can say I want this to happen brand wise from, from when I master plan it in my dark room or whatever. But once I come out there, there's this reality of how people actually perceive me. And your brand is how other people perceive you, not how you perceive yourself or what you want them to perceive you as. All right. So have those conversations to get a vibe from it. Pay attention to some of the things um, that they're saying and see if there's something useful that you can pull from that to then create more engagement. All right. Um, so I, I would just say start there from a general standpoint for for everybody. Got you. Uh, we're living in the era of COVID. God willing, this will be the last year that we have to live with this. <laughs> yeah, say um, that. What are some of your recommendations for artists to make money during this time? Because it's not like they can go on the road. And as we both know, this is where artists' bread and butter used to lie, is on the road doing shows. Yep. That's cut off. Many artists are home now, God willing, most of them are recording and have three, four, five albums in the can. But if you can give any recommendations to any artists out there, how, how can they make money and survive during an era of COVID? Well, there's two ways, primarily, right? You have a influencer approach. If you're creating content, creating content, getting out there, uh, advertising, you know, like with sponsors and things like that, that works. And I know a lot of people who are, who are making uh, a lot of money like that. People got over dependent on the, the tour thing because there's already been these monetization routes online, but it was just so easy. It was already there. You know, let's, let's just do this and not invest in these other things. So like that is a real thing. And artists have to remember that they are an influencer. There's this there's this weird mentality where I don't want to be thought of as this. I don't want to be thought of as that. And you can't oh, try to over control that because you really can't control it anyway. And it's like most of these, I don't know. I don't even want to just say kids because there's people older than me that just don't seem to understand. It's like, yo, no one's going to just pitch and hold you um, in terms of being an artist or 
I was a YouTuber or something like that. Like, cause there's so many people in our history from Will Smith to Sammy Davis to Queen Latifah that, that did multiple things, right? Like, like you don't have to just be one thing it's not gonna pigeonhole you. So the, don't be afraid of just doing the influencer thing if you have that capability. Everybody doesn't have that capability. That's when we get into the, the second framework, which is monetization through ads, right? And specific growth. Cause you might not be the guy who wants to post all the time or be on the gram or anything like that. But what you're gonna to have to do is still create the awareness. The attention has to happen regardless. All right. So if you have ads, even more important to have a funnel, all right? Something to capture that and make sure it gets monetized and used well because ads is directly spending money. People feel it. People don't feel as much waste when they post on social, right? And there's no direct ROI, but ads, people immediately, okay, understand. I want to see some money coming back. So running ads to some kind of funnel, that's going to be the best way um, to lead to the monetization, which is typically live shows, merch. You got to get outside the, I'm just an artist bag though, where live show and merch are like, because you can do a live streaming show. Not, I don't mean like a live show in real life, but you do a live streaming show, you can do merch. That's the typical stuff, but you're still an artist. And you, I mean, you're still an influencer and just a personality that people care about, right? If like, you think someone wouldn't pay to just hear Jay-Z talk, right? Like, or, or have a conversation, maybe a small meeting where people, oh, you talk about business a lot, your, your brand, or you talk about makeup a lot of your brand. Hey, have this small conversation and community that's intimate with, with a few people about whatever some of these side topics that are adjacent to your brand, right? There's so many different experiences that you can monetize around your brand and around you digitally. You do it every day, you see it every day. It's just, especially artists, like once they say, hey, I'm an artist, they kind of eliminate all these other options, but you can get as creative as you want to. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.